Uh, welcome back. Just before I let you hear the radio in its uh, final configuration, and you can look at it in the meantime, these are some of the wires that I removed. There's a whole myriad of them, but some of them. Um, the, the insulation was just falling apart on these things. As you can see there, it was a rubber type of insulation, so there was lots and lots and lots of wiring replaced. Not all of it. Some of it was reasonably good, and some of it um, was just deteriorating in places, so a little bit of silicon sealant helped in those places, but in the main, most of the main wires were replaced. And of course you saw lots of capacitors were replaced, lots of resistors were replaced, replaced, and there was a lot of alignment done. Anyhow, this is what um, the final result is. So now this is the tone and on off switch so when it comes I've got a fair amount of light here but I think you can see that the dial lights are going so I'll go just back off the maximum tone so about there. And hyperbole, but they have volume on the left tuning top right and this has got pick up to the left of where this switch is at the moment broadcast band where it is and shortwave to the right so if we bring up the volume oh now I've got to explain this thing about radio stations here and positions um, of course over the years radio stations don't always stay the same frequency often they move in this country that problem is exacerbated because in 1978 we went from 10 kc station separation to 9 kc station separation so even if the stations were to stay on their previous original frequency with 10 kc spacing they're not on exactly what it is um, there are certain frequencies with even 9 kc spacing which will come up the same but there are others uh, which will be in between so at, at that time as well some stations move quite a bit in frequency so the original uh, what's called in New South Wales for Sydney ABC stations called 2FC and 2BL now called Radio National and 702 or 702 Sydney or several other names um, they they move considerably from the original positions they're now on 576 and 702 as I mentioned so they will never line up but there are other stations that were around at the time close to 576 like 580 uh, and um, 700 for 702 that it would line up with those stations on the dial as I was previously explaining with the alignment anyhow stop raving on Mark let you hear it allegation that Mr Jeffrey Rush had engaged in inappropriate so that's Radio National on 576 they will defend their position in court defamation proceedings which is involved just below in where 4QR was a lot of so. attention recently and there's quite a lot of interference around at the moment Australian Motorsport Hall which, of Fame which may have surprised he spent 12 years in the that's Formula ABC News Radio and 6.30 do, do they both walk down the aisle? Yeah. Side by and that's 7.02 do the aisles have to be wider? <laughs> which used to be 2BL 2GB was on 8.70 originally it's on 8.73 now which is here so I'll go to them what I do and I just like helping people and I think that in my working life, my last 20 years was with docs, with um, facts. Mm. And um, I think I just so that's transferred... A, the other three stations were 50 kilowatts. Line. So um, I don't see anything that's changed. And yet. probably about 40 kilometres away from here, um, going up to about 60 to 70 kilometres from here are these 5 kilowatt commercial stations. And this one was originally on 870 and it, now it's on 873 and as you can see the dial is just on the high side of where it was. And same with TUE which was on 950, 954 now. 2KY in those days was on 1020. 10.17 now and it's just a little bit below centre and I think there's, there's just too much interference on these other stations at the moment and they're too weak so indeed even if I turn that off 
as you can hear, it's pretty bad. Some switch mode supply somewhere on the mains, but it's pretty bad. Anyway, for those um, who are interested in the station frequencies, 2SM was on 1270 for years, it's on 1269, and, it, and that's it there, which is just below the centre 2SM, but there's just too much noise on it. 2CH is an interesting one because all of the stations here originally had um, 80 kc separation so from 870 to 950 from 950 to 1020 um 80 kc i mean 90 kc <laughs> that would be better anyway uh, so you went from uh no it was right in the first place it is 80 kc because tch was on 1190 and 2SM on 1270, so there was 80 kc apart, and then from 1190 you went down to 1110 for 2UW, and then from 1110 back down to um, 2KY. And now that's where, where I threw myself out, because 2KY was the odd one out there, going from 1110 to 1020 is 90, and then you went from 1020 back to 950, which is 70. So you can see on the dial there that the, the gap isn't exactly even. So it would have gone 80, 80, 90, 70, and then back to 80 from 2GB to 2UE. However, apart from that 9KC separation thing, there must have been some interference problem between 3KZ and 2CH in the 1950s. So 2CH shifted to 1170 from 1190. So even if you get one of these radios going so that the dial is lining up reasonably well with the 9kc separation on the other station you'll never get that to happen with 2ch it'll always be on the low frequency end because they move 20kc unfortunately the interference here is the moment so bad you'll only pick up that's where it should be it's right on the h of 2ch and the tw There it is again. Anyway, I didn't have that interference yesterday morning when I was trying the dial alignment and um, they were coming through quite nicely. Anyway, getting back to these stations which are stronger. Get out the other side of the radio. Children, and we know Start actually helping a charity at 28 or 29. I mean, I've just done bits and pieces at school and whatever, but then when I did it, I felt so good about it. Over internet thing is over, email is a hoax, high price. Then it's going to be to affirm their injuries. Well, of course it's a worry, as everyone is concerned about the eruption of violence and terrorism at any time. Uh, let's hope that it's uh, uh, not uh, major, not serious. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the idea that uh, possible progress in the peace pro process uh, can be... The operation of the tone control. Uh, by Minimum uh, tone. Or terrorist threats, I think is anathema to most reasonable people. Excellent. Isn't there a danger, though, that the President's move will actually create more conflict? In anyway, um, unfortunately, there's no music around to demonstrate it on, but um, it has got quite a big oval speaker in it in a large uh, enclosure, so there's quite a bit of bass on it when you can find something. I wish I could find the source of that interference here apart from the interference that this fluorescent light is causing because then I could show some of the weaker stations and demonstrate it but um, anyway you know what switch mode suppliers are like these days and the amount of interference they cause and some of them aren't decoupled from the mains very well so that's pretty much the end of the project apart from that uh, new converter valve if I'm able to find one so I hope you've enjoyed watching the series on this uh, radio the radiola 528 MA, 5 valve mantle radio from 1950 and um, I hope my raving on and rambling has made some sense and you've been able to learn something from it and if you've got any comments or questions don't forget to um, send, send me a message, ask me anything, I'd be happy to try and um, help with any of your questions or comment on anything you're asking about and I'll put a, um, a link um, to uh, some of the um, 
Well, actually, I could probably put a link to where the circuit diagram could be obtained from for this thing. That would probably be the best, um, rather than waving it around in front of the camera. And um, and uh, anyway, I have, wish you all the best with any work that you're doing on any mantle radios too. All the best for now. Bye.